Hey, what's shaking, world? It's your man, Christopher Bruce, host of the official Celebrity Boxing Podcast. And I'm with my main man, Damon Feldman, freshly removed his gum, ready to do this episode. <laughs> and yes, that is the shirt he chose to wear. Damon, you ready? Look at yours, man. Yeah, I'm always yeah, ready. Yeah, this thing's clean. About. LFG, it's bro. LFG. Hey, enough about us. We're here to talk about Herb Middleton and the music industry. Yes. Oh, how it has changed. I can't wait. Multi-nominated uh, Grammy. I can't wait to talk Actual about. words for a real person. Yes. Platinum producer on the show with us here today. Get yes, excited. Sir. Let's do it. This is the official Celebrity Boxing Podcast. Hey, as promised, we have my man Herb Middleton. That's right. Grammy-nominated platinum producer, Damon, say that six times fast. I can't, man. multi blah, blah, blah. Perfect. <laughs> I, if I do that, I'll be a rapper then. That's right. Those would be straight bars. Nominated, nominated, uh, multi nominated multi yeah, yeah, multi grammy dropping bars on us. Yeah. All I know is I'm excited to meet him, man. Yeah, you like, should. I'm all so, into this hip-hop Herb, thing. Yeah. Welcome to the show. It's so good to have you sit down with us here today and, and to not only share a little bit about your history and kind of what you've been able to do in your career, which is amazing, a lot of big names in there: Al Green, Mary J. Blige, SWV, you name it. And I, you know, I don't want to say them all because we don't have time for it, right? You got all these credits, and you continue to push forward. I feel in a lot of ways you've been reinvigorated with trying to breathe life into older artists' careers, and you've got a few different kind of initiatives that you're focused on. Mm -hmm partly because of how much the music industry has changed, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about you. Give us a quick little come up on who is Herb Middleton, and then we'll get into some of that other stuff. Uh, profess professionally, I'm a record producer and songwriter and, and um, executive of a couple of companies, founder of a couple of companies. I've been in the game for like 32 years now. Got my start early on with Teddy Riley, then it, then it moved on to Puff, Diddy, Love, all of those, and um, I've been pretty fortunate to be in the business this long and to watch it change to where it is right now. So I've been at the, the start of, like, the real, very start of the 90s era. So seeing the getting to where it is right now where there is no more, it's kind of like there's no more nobody's really, there's a lot of violence that's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with lyrics, you know what I'm saying, that's creating self-hate. You got to settle it in the ring. We need better coping mechanisms, right? Oh, we yeah, gotta, yeah. We gotta, like, we got to challenge our energy better. I think Celebrity Boxing is one of the, a great outlet for that. Absolutely. For what oh, I, God, what God. I witnessed in Newark was amazing because we, everybody, you know, every, I saw a lot of people in the streets, yeah. and the energy was more positive than yeah. it was a negative. Yeah. And if people want to get their anger out, they can do it in the they ring. They do it in the ring in a healthy way. And just so people without, know. Without smashing each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and just so people well, know yeah, what that listen. is, the Newark event was a face-off event with NDO and the Chan, Chan, Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr. Jr. Yeah. And you were up there to take part in that, to see it, and be able to kind of get your taste. Your first, really, a, is that your first in-person taste for celebrity boxing at all? That was. It was amazing. I got kind of nervous, you know, a little bit because those oh. guys look like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to take well, off. Those guys good, man. They, they were getting it on. They were getting it on. Yeah. They, but, I'm excited about something. Hold it. You said, you said Puffy. So you still work with Puffy? Oh, yeah. Hey, I worked with Puffy. Yeah. I got, yeah. Did he, man? It's, yeah. it's awesome, man. Yeah. Because, you know, he was training a little bit. I was always trying to reach out to him, but we never connected. Really? Because, you know, a lot of these guys like that shot, you know, but that's awesome, man. That's yeah. Really, imagine yeah. Diddy in the ring. That'd be fun, right? Hey, man. He's, he's <laughs> arrogant, though, man. He's, he has <laughs> who, an ego, who so who he's going to go take in. Who on? That's the question. Whoa. No, hold it. Well, oh, Al B. Shore wanted to fight him. Al, Al B. Shore called him out, man. You know, they had a little beef going on. Okay. They have. You know, they have a stepson's and yeah. stuff. And obviously, Al B's one. One to know, man. Yeah. He's one to know. So he's held it down. You make that happen. Beat Diddy versus. Uh, they have some I'll things be, in common. They okay. do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. You can referee it, maybe. Oh man, that'd be crazy. Hell yeah. Or train so, them. You can train them. That, I love that idea. So I mean, just think about it. If you're watching, you're listening to this. You can imagine Pete Diddy in the ring taking on LB Shore or somebody. But we're gonna keep things moving. So talk yeah. a little bit about the music industry and over you know those 32 years you've been in the business. Like you said, what are some of the main changes how has the industry evolved in a way that either both good and maybe bad for the artists and just in general first of all there are no more stores right there were stores back in my era secondly there is no more value for true art mm. so that's another throwdown to to the to the to hip-hop to r&b like there is no more so what we're doing in the process of working with celebrity uh, boxing is bringing back true art with those guys I both work with, Indio yeah. and yeah. Roy Jones Jr. They both spit. 
dope. They still they you know Indio. He's a new artist, but yeah. he's. He's dope. So he could really, he could really throw some rap. Well, you know, it's I, mean, I know, a, I know Roy it, can, but yeah, I mean, so, this producing is the thing where you produce, you actually create, you, 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 you enhance what the, is there, even if it's they don't even know it's there. Yeah, right. Well, so, one thing I wanted to say is I always wanted to be a rapper, and not let's rapper, go, oh, man. No, no, but bro, listen, Damon, we we'll get you in that booth. Don't no, tease no, us. listen, me and LL Cool J, we got kicked his, his song off. He loved it on Instagram right. Live one day. You know, like yeah, so I changed his song around, man. I, I, I we might have to make this that. happen. We gonna. No, I'm serious. No, but yeah. Damon, tell you what, this is a promise. We'll get you in the booth. We'll write something because this yeah. is what we did with NDO. We wrote the song. Like, I mean, I wrote the song. We had some collaborative really? elements. Lady Malfi was in, yeah. and we worked him in the booth. And Herb did his magic. That's awesome. And he came out of that thing sounding like a mix of DMX and Busta Rhymes. He was like DM Rhymes or Busta X or whatever you want to call him. He, flowed, he, he bodied he, it. He bodied. He really it. did come in. But the thing that's amazing and what you wouldn't be surprised about is how NDO gave everything in that scenario, right? He, right? he doesn't mess around. He goes to work. And he was will, he was coachable. That's awesome. And oh, he yeah, was yeah. engaged. And he was like, hey, just let me know what I need to do to make this so thing hold great. It. So it's Herb. So you basically could, if I'm not a rapper, but I had a inspir- you know, intentions on trying one, you sure. could actually make me a rapper. Absolutely. Uh, do it. Man, come on. That's, a, it's a, um, that's, that's what a producer I'm gonna is. I'm going to this song off. I, yeah, yeah, get please. I'm going to get song off, man. No Definitely. Doubt. And it, it, dude, it's fire too. And this, I'm telling you, wait until we get the song out. And you actually might have heard a taste of it at the at the event up in Newark. He, that was actually a song they played. Okay. And it's called "Blend It Up." Yeah. And you've got a movement related to NDO and his home country of Liberia. Mm-hmm. And there's some vision on how we can kind of take and grow that's that. That's amazing, though. What he what NDO is doing, honestly, it's yeah, incredible. It. But that's that's just amazing, man. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm yeah. gonna, so, I've been talking to a few people about doing this. I, I want to do a rap. So song, what definitely. are some of the things then, Herb, that artists can do today? Because it is different, right? Like you said, no stores. You're not on the street selling and pushing CDs. Like, I mean, that was a big part of the game back in the day, right? Those mm-hmm. are just a numbers game, getting them out. Mm-hmm. But now with streaming being what it is mm-hmm. and the pennies on the dollar that you ultimately get, which is honestly laughable. You Thank you for saying that. You have to position yourself differently and think of it more as like, how do I use this as a business? How do I connect myself to other opportunities? What What are some of the things that you're doing to help artists in this day and age? Um, just number one, educating the ones that don't know, that have no knowledge of the business in the game. And you know, you gotta have value. If you're gonna any business, you got to have knowledge. Hmm. Because if you don't, then you're gonna be, you're gonna fall into the, into the, the tricks of the system. You gotta have knowledge, knowledge is power. So. I'm back to like bringing back original, like just individuality is one thing that is has been lost because everybody sound the same. Right. And what's, what's all is, is crazy is about like so like for instance like a guy like six nine, when you started, would he have been as big as he is now or not? He say he's what? Would he be as big as he is now? Like how he has millions of followers, he's making millions of dollars. Would he have been a big rapper back like when you started or not? Uh, not necessarily so. That's what I'm saying. And it's crazy what <laughs> yeah. social media has done. Yeah, social media has, has like taken yeah. the wheel as far as like showing, making people stars. First of all, it gives you, it, it could be real tricky because you see yourself on your own screen. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't have these cameras right. back in the right. day. Right, yeah, yeah. Now everybody can make their own videos in their bathroom, mm-hmm. whatever. They can make their own music. So everybody feels like they're overnight stars. Right, they got right, followers. Sure. But your followers don't mean they're really your true supporters because... And they don't necessarily. Do you, have, do you have a million dollars? Translate to money. Either. Do you have if you translate to money? Do you have a million followers? Do you have a million dollars? Exactly. Or do you have yeah, a, yeah, even no, a half of that? Yeah. A quarter. Oh, absolutely. I hear you. So how do you leverage it, right? And that's what it comes down to. Got, I think people you got to be a businessman. Be smart about. It. Okay, great. You developed a following, but now how do you use it to push your platform, your music, your it's art, it's and align it with? Companies, or you know, in you, opportunities to drive that money. You line music with, with moves like this. Yeah, you line your music with something that is doing something that is outside of the box of right. music, and you and you like I, like we're doing to amplify to amplify to right. push that, and everybody everybody wins in, right. in, in the process. And that's kind of like you said. You, were you got to think like a businessman. Like right. before, you used to think like a musician, an artist. Now you got to think like a business. It's ninety percent business now and ten percent music. You got to you got to make it so it's fifty fifty. Right. And obviously, the music still needs to be 
there, right? It's the, oh, the music got to be there. Good. But what's it? But what's it take to like nowadays? Like you know, when you were starting out, you don't see guys like Six Nine and um, like Little Dirk, guys like that. And all of a sudden, they have millions and millions of people. what's what's it taking for them? Is it just their persona? Like what, how are they getting so big nowadays? We gotta talk offline. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Nah, man, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it's amazing, though, it is. like Yeah, it's like, you know, it's, it really like it's, a, it's like now now music is not about the artistry. It's about the fad. It's about the everything else that that is important because we're in the entertainment business, sure, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So it's entertainment at the end of the day. Yeah. But longevity needs, like, there's not any longevity music being made anymore, like, is for right now. It's a trendy. It's and there's a trendy also a. Re- I mean, you got to look at. There's a responsibility in the artists because people are looking up to them. They're listening to them. They're taking note from them. And if you're just chasing the fads and the trends, and you're just, you know, saying, "Hey, I'm going to make this music this way," without considering how it impacts society, your little brother, your family, and even folks you don't know, then you're being irresponsible in a lot of ways. Yeah. You're just grabbing. Fame and possibly a couple dollars short term thinking mm-hmm. to Herb's credit and to his point you're thinking long term things that last right. are things that have value mm, that's good right that's good. and that's I think where right now the industry is shifted and what Herb and others are trying to do is as they say bring the music back and there's a lot of legendary artists that are coming back right now even from right. like you was you just a host of a show last week you got the intruders the spinners. right yeah you got some of these people that are still living man they're 70 years old and they're not and I, we have melbourne moore i worked with her right. did a number one song with her melbourne moore puts a leg up like this you need to have her in the box for me by the way <laughs> um you know what i'm saying you got people that are, that are coming back bless god bless you. you that are bringing back yeah quality music and I think if it's gonna be a rise, it's gonna be people that are knowledgeable of the art and right. that could bring back what is, you know, four hundred one k music. Well, what you I'm don't talking. have is you don't have the mentors like you used to. No, have, you don't. Right, and like people no, aren't going don't. through like that apprentice style kind of process. Right, they're just going out and without any guidance, right. putting stuff out, grabbing followers, chasing trends, yeah. mm-hmm. and you know, listen, well, let's well, face it, when well, we're all young, no, no, definitely. But what's really amazing, even with celebrity boxing, so the whole thing with celebrity boxing now, the music is a major part. Like I never would have thought music would have been a major part. I have these I, big deals we're working on right now, but sort of, you know, the artist plays before the event, during the event, and after the event, plus at the after party, and plus walks, you know, the the uh, fighters in, which is so intro unique, music, man. Right? It's, it's just, always been in Boston, though, right, Damon? Because like they, it always been the intro music, but right. now they're. Actually, the ring, the boxing ring, so every boxing ring is the stage now. Yeah. That's what's so exciting about this. You've man. taken like, the stage and you've yeah. expanded the platform to include artists in a meaningful Absolutely. way yeah. so that they can get a lot of benefit from pre-promotion, from being highlighted at the event, and then as those clips in the video files and everything yeah. that are coming out, all that content is featuring those artists in a we're way. We're giving them their 15 minutes. That's what right. the whole platform is. But yeah. what you're doing. So what's what's tips like to a guy if watching, and I'm sure there's going to be some people asking questions. What does it take? What do you have to do to be a rapper? Uh, number one, get your get your delivery, get your metaphors, get 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 your how, how you deliver on a track, and, and definitely be original. You know, we need right. we need to have like Roy Jones is a different style boxer than Sugar Ray Leonard. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to embrace their own style, their own gift that God blessed them with. That's one thing. You know, cause but like how do you spit the words? That like it's crazy. Like, like you just did. I know, but like I am, you know, no boxing a box quite like I can. I'll take a muscle bound man. I put that face in. Oh, like, whoa, 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 whoa. we were recording yo, that, yo. so we could actually sample but that. Is, Yo, listen. But this is the thing. I think what to, to your point, to, though, and all, all yeah. kidding aside, is we all have our natural rhythms, and if you under, if you kind of lean in, some of us, so even if it's arrhythmic, it's still rhythm. It just might be off. Well, that's not going to work in my art. I'm just saying. Be well, a I, 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 I'm I need to be taught how to be a rapper. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rap listen, brain. listen. What you just Later. did. Yeah. Yeah, but I memorized that. That's I, I got I, you. So, that, so what? LL Cool J. All you need is, is the right beat under that. That's LL Cool J's song. It's no, no um, 
And uh, I didn't even no, know that. What was it? Uh, no rapper can rap quite like I can. You know, so I did no boxing can box quite like I can. I'll take a muscle bound man and put his face in the sand. Like the last mafio, I'm an MC cop. Make it say go Damon and do the wop. You think you kind of punch me? Yo, boy, I bet. Because I ain't met a mm, who could do that yet. And, and you I had your own rest. bleeps too. <laughs> I know. He even like, he, he, like edited himself. Yeah, yo, gotta go in. in. <laughs> gotta jump in before the fight is over. Edits. You this know my win. Down, Herb Middleton has arrived. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna get you guys in the booth together. We're gonna yeah, make that that's, happen. Watch, we'll help you scratch it out. Try, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna create a track for a celebrity. You got boxing. the voice too. I like we the voice. Even, really? We should work on. Bro, if I become a rapper, it's like sort of one of my goals. We should work on the official track for the podcast. Yeah. Start with that. And we'll put that out, and then we can build from there. It'll just be your debut track. We can okay. all be on it. And are you gonna manage me? Well, we're gonna we're gonna He's work gonna together. He's gonna produce me. You're gonna manage me. Maybe I'm I guess excited you, about you this. Need man. It, come on. Clearly, after you know the way you showed up today, wow, but I, I'll bro, tell you come what. Come on, listen, man. I'm a rapper now, bro. That's true. I see that. I'm a rapper. It's clear. The transformation <laughs> is complete. Look at this guy. Amazing. So, Herb, I mean. We don't have all the time in the world today, and you know, hopefully we can have you back on, but I know we're working collaboratively on a lot of these projects. Let's talk real Liberia. quick about Liberia, amazing. but also amazing. we have the Metaverse match coming up with NDO Champ yeah. versus Roy Jones Jr., multiple-time world champion. I yeah. was corrected the other day, nine-time world champ as, yeah. he, as he added all it the up. the world titles, yes. World, it's amazing. We've had both of them in the studio recently on tracks that we've inspired and written elements on. What's it been like to work with these kind of, you know, talents in different ways? And what's the future like for music and celebrity boxing and some of these projects we're working on? Because we have a couple in particular. Roy Jones, his track, All Minds, and NDO's Blended Up. I know we're just getting started. Yeah, I, I think, you know, being, this is number one. Let me just honor hip hop. This is hip hop's anniversary. Yeah, man. 50 years. So Beautiful shout thing. out yeah, to yeah, all man. the rappers yes. that have been doing it. Yeah, it's awesome. And those that are keeping the art going. So this is the beginning of a new beginning. I think we're about to see history reshape itself right. with celebrity boxing, getting the artists back into the ring, getting them back into the booth. Um, Roy Jones had a line. He's yeah. talking, he said, um, and I'm a Champ from the booth in the ring. From, from the, the ring booth, to the booth, the booth, booth to the ring. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope. So that, yeah. that he, he basically shaped the vision that I have of bringing artistry into the boxing ring, and excellent artistry, right. where we can have fun, you know what I'm saying, the parties, talk about life, talk about building up boxing against life, you know what I'm saying, right. which, which NDO does so greatly, by yeah. the way. NDO, shout out, I, I, I've been hitting him up saying I love what he does. That's yeah. His like, messaging is amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it very might, inspiring, on, man. On the surface, it might seem like it's shtick and it's, you know, it's a little... It's face. hilarious. And it's to get attention. Oh, yeah. But once you have the attention, it's the message behind it that really kind of pushes it. Nobody, I mean, celebrity boxing stands for overcoming obstacles and absolutely you know, redemption, get, getting knocked mm, down, the underdog, but more mm, important, underdog getting story, back you know I mean? up and continuing to do it. Absolutely, he's all about that and more. There's a no. no well, I could see a rap. His song would go viral oh, it's because huge. every followers and social. Dude, wait till you hear this track. And just him, killer. people will be like, "He went all from this." Oh, you it's know, crazy. To sing it, it's going to be an awesome. ultimate pump up. Song. I can't wait to hear that. I, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah. love it. And then we got just another minute or two here. So tell us about the Liberian movement, what you're trying to do with that. And That's amazing. We'll, uh, we'll kind of take it from there. Last year, I got an idea just out of nowhere to, to support Liberia. We're doing a different type of style of music because we got Nigeria mostly represents Afro pop. Right. So I wanted to do something that incorporates more of an urban type of feel from the Bronx mm. perspective, yeah. from the bad boy perspective, where yeah. I'm from and bring that and incorporate that with African beats. And so uh, the initiative was with Liberia and Liberian artists. So we got Lady Malfi, yeah. we got D Trench, and all of a sudden I get introduced to NDO. And where is he from? That's crazy. Liberia. Liberia. That is amazing. So, actually, so I got something I talk to you and about. And Malfi's um, you know, quasi manager, Richard, mm -hmm. the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, He's yeah, amazing. yeah. They're like cousins, NDO, the legitimate yeah, yeah, cousins. Yeah, so yeah. it's Small it all world. ties together. Celebrity it's boxing did it again. They put everybody Bringing together now. People yeah. together yeah. in yeah. and outside yeah. of the yeah. ring. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So a lot of really cool things to look forward to. Yeah, with definitely, that. definitely. And if people want to follow you, learn more about you and what you're doing, or reach out to come to the studio, to book sessions, to get after it, how do they do it? HerbMiddletonMusic.com, HerbMiddleton1 on the, on the gram, HerbMiddleton. Just look at, look at HerbMiddleton. If you see this face, that's me. There Herb, it is. HerbMiddleton. It. It's straightforward. Yeah. It's easy. Yo, I'm excited. Herb man. Hold on. Not, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. I, 
I'm, I'm, I'm holding you up on this rap song. Oh, yeah, I got you. This is like I got sort of you, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right I always here. want to do Just a rap Just give me a couple of boxing lessons, we you know what I'm saying? Done deal. Right. Listen, you'll fight in celebrity boxing, and I got a couple of guys for you, and we'll, you help me with the Just rap song. Just help me win. Uh, listen, uh, things uh, listen, happening done deal. <laughs> right here on the official Celebrity Boxing Podcast. Thanks again for coming in. Herb, I, we could talk for hours, honestly. We're going to definitely have to oh, yeah. have you back. But this was great, Damon. Yeah, definitely. Maybe you can find a shirt that fits you. And we'll be back next time. Look at this guy. Thanks for listening. You guys are awesome. Herb, keep doing your thing. Stay well. Stay awesome. Stay tuned. This is the official Celebrity Boxing Podcast. LFG. And LIB. Sip it. Let's get it. Hey.